So now we go up to the start. Go. Prince Elizabeth Cup, the Jesuit College from the United States against St Paul's School in Hammersmith in England. Jesuit College, Jesuit School is in Dallas. As we see St Paul's getting away and they've strayed a little off their station. As we see a few crews do where they seem to get hit by a little bit of wash off the island. And uh, they look pretty close to me as they're coming up towards the top of the island. So St Paul's School, the current holders, they'll be wanting to show their dominance. And indeed, they got off there at 47-48. That little wobble might have cost them something. In an aid, it takes quite a lot to get back straight, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. That You don't want to be using a rudder. We all know the rudder acts as a brake. So the cocks had to do a bit of work because of their stream that I think pushes off the island. And St Paul's School, like you say, holders of this race from last year. We see Matt Pinson there stood in the umpire's launch, having a chat to Mark Durden Smith holding the microphone. Doesn't seem that he doesn't seem to be that worried by anything that's going on. I'm ahead, imagining the race is probably in quite good shape that he's able yeah. to just give a few details for the BT Sport coverage, as well as YouTube, where you can find these pictures. And St Paul's School from Great Britain have moved out to a little bit of clear water over the Jesuit School from Dallas. So St Paul's at 35 there to the Jesuit School at 34. And you could just see in that shot the nice way that, you know, what was moving the boat, the St Paul's School, the blades going down to the water and the Jesuit School just skying the blades in, up a little bit. It's their first time at Henley. They had to really, the school have had to really, really prove themselves at their local regattas, at their, well, the USA regattas to be able to be sent. Um, they've had a fantastic season in the US, silver medalists, um, in a very prestigious US schools regatta, but it's not good enough against St Paul's today. Well, it's a pretty tough draw for them, isn't it, coming yeah, up against St Paul's School. St Paul's, who won this event last year, they've got six returners from the boat that won in 2015, but they have been quite inconsistent this year. Uh, they got second place at the Metropolitan in the Senior Eights uh, recently, and a win in the uh, Senior One Eights at Marlow. Probably suggests they could be getting back on form, bang at the right time of yeah, the year. Yeah, yeah. And also, I think this uh, the USA crew just shown no, that's St. Paul's, isn't it? The USA crew did say they had a yes, they had quoted saying that uh, they had St. Paul's Concord gave them the hardest race of their lives yesterday. So this Jesuit college crew had the hardest race of their lives to get through here today. And it's pretty difficult to pick yourself up both physically and mentally from that to come out again and race St. Paul's current but holders. Henley is a gruelling regatta, isn't it? it? Is. And this is a real one. The uh, the Prince Elizabeth Cup, obviously, 32 entries make it through to race from Wednesday through to Sunday. So you've got to make good progress. And as you say, if you've had the race of your life on the Thursday, as compared to St Paul's, who managed to have a, a two and a half, two and a quarter length win yesterday over Abingdon School, where they might have just been able to conserve a bit, and they've had another good one today. So uh, for St Paul's, this is making good progression and hopefully a good build through the regatta. It's pretty poignant watching this. We just after this race, we're going to cut, and it'll be two minutes silence at 11 o'clock. The Battle of the Somme 100 years ago. And it's looking at these 17 and 18 year olds racing, thinking 100 years ago where they would be. And uh, we talk about them battling here, but 100 years ago, they really would be facing an all all different um, to get a different fate on this day 100 years ago. So maybe this is maybe this is a better way to lose. <laughs> Absolutely well said, Alison. So we can see Matthew Pinson in the distance there, standing at the front of the motorboat, following this St Paul's crew who won this event last year, coached by Bobby Thatcher. And they're doing a very good job again here today, and they'll be very pleased to be progressing through to the next round. Be happy to get this race done in the morning session so they can go back to the accommodation where they're staying. They can rest up, they can eat well, they can recover and get ready for another race when they're going to come out tomorrow. They do look good. A few little waves rolling on the water there, but it's nothing to disturb the crew from St Paul's in Hammersmith in London. They paddle through. You see that poppy there on the side of the boat. The confirmation there in the Prince Elizabeth Cup a win for St Paul's School, head of the Jesuit College Prep School in the United States. Crossing the line now. All right. All right.